And good evening, as this is my third night in a row covering Mariners baseball, which means I am three for three. Good evening, everyone. This is the Rooftop Sports, and we are in game three between the Seattle Mariners and the Boston Red Sox. We did see the Mariners respond with a very narrow one nothing victory against Boston off of that J.P. Crawford home run to right field, which was barely fair, and also George Kirby's amazing Eight strikeout performance, which deserves a lot of recognition. It's too bad that Scott Servison let him finish the seventh inning, but the bullpen at least didn't give up a run. So, but here we are. We are now one and one. And also, before we even get started, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification, and also donate to the channel as well as I have put in that QR code right there. I'm pointing it right over there. It's, there's that QR code to give you the opportunity to do it through Venmo or do it through the YouTube Super Chats. And I'm excited once again. I'm so happy to be here for the third night in a row. Hopefully going to be the fourth night in a row. Hopefully my voice can hold up. But four in a row will be the at best because Monday I won't be there for the game because I actually play softball. So I got to play that game. So we're getting ready. It's going to be about eight minutes from now. And let's take a look at the matchup for today. We got Cutter Crawford of Boston going up against Logan Gilbert. Now let's take a look at these two guys. Logan Gilbert, or shall I say Cutter Crawford. He was six and eight with a 4.04 ERA. He struck on 135 batters, walked 36 times in his 23 starts. And then we've got Logan Gilbert who had 189 strikeouts, a 3.73 ERA, a 13-7 and record. Hopefully, he can step up and be the starter because, oh boy, when he was playing, when he was starting with the Mariners, they did lose three of those five games, unfortunately, and two of them were against one of the tougher teams. It was the Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now we shall take a look at the starting lineups for today for the for the Seattle Mariners. <clears throat> We've got Duran, Yoshida, Trevor Story, Casas, Abreu, Rafaela, Valdez, Reyes, and Wong, the catcher. So no Tyler O'Neill today. Then we got Duran. Masataka, no, wait, no, this is for the Mar for the Mariners starting lineup. We got J.P. Crawford, Julio Rodriguez, Jorge Polanco, Mitch Haniger, Cal Raleigh for the third night in a row. I would have thought Sebi Savala would have gotten an opportunity by then. Ty France, Luke, Ray uh, yeah, Ty France, Luke Raley, Dylan Moore, and Josh Rojas. This time, no Luis Urias, and Luis Urias was really tough to watch last night. So I'm glad to see that Josh Rojas will be playing today. And then you see that Mitch Garver isn't even in the game. Now let's take a look and see why, because he was scratched once again. According to Ryan Divish, he says that he felt a little tightness in his back this morning. Mariners are hoping that he can play tomorrow with some treatment and medication. Woo! And there's already Twitter jokes happening because he was scratched with yesterday because of his back spasms. And you're already seeing memes like Peter Parker saying, my back my back so unfortunately mitch garver won't be available and it's already foreseen that we're already seeing injury problems for mitch garver and something that we really don't need to see at all would rather not like would like to see no injuries please considering that both mitches have historically had injury problems in the past so we're now in commercial break and we're getting ready within the next five minutes and I'm trying to think what else we should be expecting from the Mariners. Hopefully, I would like to see like J.P. Crawford. Or not, not J.P. Crawford. I'd like to see Julio Rodriguez do something and Jorge Polanco. Those are the players I would really, I am very eager to see do something because Polanco, he was brought in to be one of the big offensive pieces for the Mariners, and he does do very well. And hopefully Luke Rayleigh can get it going as well. I mean, I would like to see all these guys get it going. So hopefully, you know, the funny thing was I was actually offered 
four tickets to a Kraken game, but here was the problem. Yes, they were free, but there's also that looking for the parking. And I would have had to find three scramble to find three people at the last minute. So I don't know if I would have been able to. I don't think I would have been able to find anyone to go with at that at such short notice of time. Would have been nice if I went to a Kraken game, but I kind of already half assed committed to be committed to be going live for these Mariners games as I really do enjoy these. And looks like the roof is closed tonight because they're expecting some rain tonight, I guess. Pretty unusual. Dirty Baseball, what's up? I knew that you'd be here tonight. I saw that you were at the game last night. You did tell me that. I'm glad that you got to enjoy that game. It looks like they're saying the weather... I mean, it's not even going to rain at all. It's just, I think they... I don't even know why the roof is closed to begin with. I'm not going to know why, and I don't want to know. But yes, they're looking at the screen right now. It's Cutter Crawford and Logan Gilbert. Another Houston loss, huh? So the Houston Astros lost another game, huh? Not good. Sorry, Josh. Sorry, buddy. But Logan Gilbert, he is getting ready to go, giving Cal Raleigh the hug. He's with Pete Woodworth, the coach, pitching coach. But hopefully, and also bullpen coach, one of the coaches is Danny Farquhar, who was part of the Mariners at bullpen back in the mid-2010s. Farquhar was off of that Ichiro trade. And I actually liked Danny Farquhar back at the time. Let me take a look and show you how his numbers were. But Danny Farquhar was a really decent player. <clears throat> He's now 37 years old. He looks a lot older than what I would have expected. But here was his career. Um, yeah, with the Mariners, he his best season was 2014 when he was 3-1. 2.66 ERA. Funny thing is, he actually had 13, 16 saves with the 2013 Mariners when Wilhelmson pretty much blew it. 2015, he was terrible. He was 1-8 with a 5.12 ERA, so just like the same fate that Dominic Leone had. And oh my God, Dominic Leone was just atrocious last year. Oh, who do we got here? It isn't over, but the bullpen pooed their pants again. Yeah, I mean, thanks for Ryan Stanek, buddy. Your fantasy team got carried by Kirby and Munoz yesterday. Yeah, I got carried by Kirby as well. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Mediocre toker. Bold prediction. France will homer and get three RBIs. Hold you to it. I wonder how I would hold you to it anyway. Maybe I'll force you to donate if it doesn't happen throughout this entire game. But yeah, I would really like to see some of those donations coming in. And also, yeah, there's my QR code there. I'll leave that up there because I do have a lot of other advertisements going on. And there's another commercial break going on. And at this point, I think I could use a breather and save my voice as well. So I'm going to start playing... I'm going to start going on the commercials right now. Modern Exterior Solutions is a fully licensed and insured full-service exterior renovations company serving Seattle and Eastside communities. We know that a home is one of your most important possessions. That's why we're committed to providing high-quality, affordable home renovations for each customer's individual budget. We're diverse enough to meet the challenges of any project you put in front of us. Our workmanship minimizes the use of third-party services, and our team works together to meet all your deadlines. Anytime there's a challenge, we work with you to find a solution. We're proud to work with distributors of quality brand products with durable, ample protection from the elements for a variety of applications, including James Hardy siding and trim. Talk with us today about your project's needs, and we can help you solve all the challenges along the way. And there it is. And just remember to just remember to call that phone number 206-992-4465. Use that promo code Modern Rooftop to get 20% off. Oh. 
But yeah, Josh, sorry about that, that they don't want to spend on the middle relief for some reason. But hey, if it makes you feel better, Mariners don't even want to spend in general. They had an every opportunity, like their best, their free agency should have gone like, the offseason should have gone like this. Should have gotten Matt Chapman or at least keep a Eugenio Suarez and get Blake Snell. Then, I mean, I didn't even have to trade Jared Kelnick. Like, did that really, was it really that necessary to free up money for Mitch Garver? I don't know. But now they're going, hey, Dr. Afro Dog, how's it going? Nice of you to join this show. But yes, we got the bold prediction of Ty France homering and get three RB. Whoa, a new member did not expect that one. I am absolutely on fire. I, would, I wonder which one you chose. Uh, thanks, Chris, for joining that membership. You have made my day once. You have made my day. Let's take a look and see what which one you did join. It looks like you joined rooftop fans. You you joined the discounted one. <laughs> but yes, if everyone else can can join forces as well. So, let's do that. And now we got Logan Gilbert who is going to be on the mound. And now here is Duran. We are getting ready for the first pitch by Logan Gilbert. And it's brought to you by Modern Exterior Solutions. And that's going to be a ball. Uh, hey, dirty baseball. No spoilers because my show is very behind. Oh, my gosh. It was a nice play by J.P. Crawford. It's just my show was just absolutely behind. Well, I got it up to, I got it up to par. So now we have got one out already in just four pitches. And now here's the pitch. And that is right in the middle for a strike. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball. Masataka Yoshida, he is two for seven in the series. He's got five pitches in for Logan Gilbert so far. And now here's the pitch. And that is going to be a ball. Oh, come on, Chris. Stop it. <laughs> Has Houston not even won at all? And now Yoshida is looking at the 1-1 pitch, and that is popped up and fouled. Masataka Yoshida, career versus Logan Gilbert, one for three. As Boston and the Mariners, they don't really play with each other that much anymore due to the fact that the Mariners, or the Major League Baseball really messed up the scheduling. And now here's the 1-2 pitch, and that is outside for a ball, 2-2. Two and two. Wow, Houston about to go 0 and 3. I don't think any of us would have expected that. And now Yoshida is looking at the 2 2. And here is the pitch. And there is a line drive foul. Masataka Yoshida looking at an 286 average to start the season. Yosh Masataka Yoshida is now waiting on the 2-2 pitch. And now here is the pitch. And that is fouled again as he is really fighting it. Well, that's what happens when you let all your mid-relief go. Yeah, thanks for Ryan Stanek. I appreciate it. And yeah, now it seems like your team could be like the 98 Mariners with a bad bullpen. Good offense. And now Logan Gilbert's looking at a 2-2. And here is the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? He did. And that is strike three. So Masataka Yoshida will go down in strikes. And now there's two outs in this, in this inning. And now here's the third batter. And now here is the pitch. And here's a line drive caught by J.P. Crawford, fielded in the throw to first, and it's in time. And that will retire the side with an easy 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, two men left, no men left on. I am off today, but let's go to the next commercial, shall we? Let's just do that. <laughs> what a...
Yeah. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal. And you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description. So take advantage, and thank you. And yep, go ahead and take advantage. Use promo code Rooftop Sports if you plan to go to a Mariners game tomorrow or you plan to go to that Julio Rodriguez bobblehead night. That will be your opportunity. So go ahead and hit up those games and use that promo code so you can save some money because $20 gets you a nice free meal somewhere. Maybe not so much in the concessions, but maybe some, maybe somewhere in Chinatown is what I would be thinking of. And now we're back in we're in that commercial break still right now. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? You already used it. Yeah, Chris. I mean, you're, you've really shown as much support. I mean, the best support you can show me now that you've joined the membership is donate some money, but now you've already donated about $2 a month. Hey, Chris, what you should do, if you're at least 18 years old, because I don't know if you're in high school, if you're, if you're 18 yet, you should definitely call in the show. Only reason why I'm saying that is because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to be the Dan Schneider because that'd just be sad. And now here is J.P. Crawford. It is the bottom of the first. And now here is the pitch. And that will not make it. That's going to be a ball to J.P. Crawford. Yeah, I think the team looks like since last year. Yeah. And now here is the pitch. And J.P. Crawford fouls it. Dirty Baseball says Mitch Garver will be back tomorrow. He better be back tomorrow, I know. Because we traded away Jared Kelnick and A. Eugenio Suarez just to get Mitch Garver. Wow. Yeah, that hurts. 0 for 4 against Cutter Crawford is JP. Here's the bunt attempt, and it goes right to the third baseman. The throw to first, and that gets away. And JP Crawford is going to second base. What a heads up bunting by JP Crawford. He is now at second base. That's probably going to be an error. And he did the bunt. The Mariners actually did a bunt. Woo! I was like, I really felt good about that bunt. Like, I really loved it. That was just a beautiful bunt by J.P. Crawford. And he gets on base with a bunt. Oh, yeah, I better start taking some notes, too. Now, here is Julio Rodriguez. He is now up to bat, batting second in the order. And now here's the pitch, and that is just outside for a ball. And now here is the pitch by Julio, and that is up high for a ball. Julio is waiting, and now here is the 2-0 pitch, and that is going to be a strike. I have to be 20 seconds delayed on your stream to pair it with my TV. I'm sorry, man. I mean, this is the most it's ever going to get, and also doesn't help that my YouTube itself by default is also delayed. And now we are looking at the 2-1 pitch, and here's a ground ball, and that is a sliding stop, and the throw to first. And it's in time, just in time. And J.P. Crawford does he even go to third base on that. He does not. But at least there won't be a double play on that. Good play by the shortstop. It was right from his knees. Beautiful throw. And it was just on the money. And it was just in time to get J.P. Crawford by a foot. And now we've got Jorge Polanco. 
Polanco looking to redeem himself as he was extremely hitless, and the way he swung was just, it was god-awful. One for seven this series. Here's the pitch, and now here's a fly ball to center field. Will that be enough to advance J.P. Crawford? And J.P. Crawford is not going to go to third base, and now we've already got two outs. J.P. has been stuck. So bullpen's giving up 13 runs. I can't become a member because I'm not 18 yet. So that means Chris must be 18. Oh, dirty baseball. You're not 18 yet? Oh, man. Well, get your high school friends to start getting into my shows. And now here is Mitch Hanniger up to the plate, batting 333. Here's the pitch, and that is up high for a ball. Cutter Crawford tends to struggle with runners in scoring position and even two outs. 341. Yeesh. Now here's the pitch. And now here's a line drive, and that is foul. That looks really good. Oh, Josh, don't feel old. How old could you possibly be? And now it is Mitch Hanniger, two for six in the series. I kind of already said that. And now here is the 1-1 one, one pitch. And that is fouled again by Mitch Hanniger. I guess that age explains. Mitch Hanniger last season with San Francisco in 61 games was batting 209 as he was injured most of the season. His career high was in 2021 when he hit 39 home runs. And here is the 1-2 pitch. And that is low for a ball. Two and two. And here's a two, two. And here's a ground ball, and that gets through for a base hit. Here comes J.P. Crawford. Is he going to score? He does score. And the Mariners take a one nothing lead off the RBI by Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger is already contributing to the Mariners. Hopefully, this is the healthy Mitch Hanniger that we get. And I got to record that. Mitch already helps the Mariners get on the board with a 1-0 lead. <laughs> wow. Mitch Hanniger does it. But yeah, Dirty Baseball, why don't you try to become a member? I mean, Chris is 17, so why don't you do it? Now I'm going to look like a predatory for this. <laughs> Mitch Hanniger, yeah, he, he really is our best hitter right now. And now here's Cal, Cal Raleigh up to the plate. Home runs in the last two games. Mariners 3, Boston 2. And now here is Cal Raleigh, and here is the pitch. And that is... Inside for a ball. We got 18. I got 18 concurrent viewers so far. Thank you for being on my show very much. It means the world to me to be on my show. And now here is the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Dirty baseball. Get a job. <laughs> At least until you're 18. Hope you have one. Don't be living off the allowances. But yes, listen to your parents. I will say that. Absolutely 100% listen to parents. And since you're below, since you're a minor, don't talk to strangers and do not engage like strangers. Don't be like, you don't want that same fate as Drake Bell. And now here's the one two pitch. And that is inside for a ball, two and two. And by the way, did anyone see that Quiet on Stage documentary on HBO Max? That was quite the darkness. I mean, it, it really ruined my childhood. I mean, Drake and Josh was like my childhood. And now here is the 2-2 pitch. And that is a foul ball. Kevin Kirby says, I feel like the Mariners are going to regret giving up on Kelnick. I, they gave up on him too quickly. The problem is, though, Mariners didn't really have the leadership to handle the likes of Jared Kelnick while the Atlanta Braves do. So I think the environment just wasn't a fit. And when you had Kevin Mather saying that he bet against himself, that doesn't really bode well. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. 
And that is going to be ball three, three and two. I mean, who doesn't hate two strike counts? Spring training doesn't really mean much. And now here's the three, two swing and a miss strike three. And that will retire the side, but the Mariners do end up scoring one, nothing Mariners lead. That never gets old. I'm surprised they haven't copyrighted me for that. But here's the next ad. Are you in need of a professional voice to help develop your e-modules, explainers, narrations, video ads, video content, and more? You are in the right place as I do provide an expressive and engaging voice for your work. And I do provide competitive prices. If you are interested, here is the link in the description and or comments. And thank you. And let me get you that link if you really, if you guys really do care about using my voice. I just got to find that link. I, I got to save it. I got to make sure that I save it next time so I don't look like a fool every time I'm, I'm having to do this. I, I think I found it. Here it is. I got it. If you guys want my beautiful voice, here it is. I mean, yeah, look at that. He went three for four with two RBIs yesterday, and he did well today. So I really do think that. Yeah, for sure. Astros look like bullpen is struggling so far this year. Yeah, I mean, Josh will be the first one to say that. Oh, I got to show my link. What am I doing? Yep, you're, there's my voice. It's nice to see that Mitch Hanniger is already contributing for the Mariners. And looks like we are back from the break. We got a Julio Rodriguez bobblehead three-day giveaway, including his bobblehead. And now here's Logan Gilbert, and that is low for a ball. Yeah, Kevin Kirby, yeah, it really is an understatement, according to Josh, about the about the putrid bullpen. I guess so. And now here's the pitch. And that is in there for a strike. Tristan Casas, he was on fire last year after the All-Star break. And now here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. They're saying Angels need to trade Mike Trout at the dead deadline. Thing is, will the Mariners even have the assets to trade for him and... He still has a huge chunk of that contract. And now here's the pitch, and that is low for a ball. But I don't think Angels are going to trade Mike Trout at all. And now we're looking at the 2-2 pitch. And now here is the pitch, and that is popped up, and is that going to be playable? Nope, way out of play. Yeah, but you can put, like, my trout in right field. You can put my trout in right field, because it's not like you're going to rely on Mitch Hanniger every day. Apples are Apple games are usually on Friday, so it's still on Root Sports. And now here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, another strikeout for Logan Gilbert. That is strikeout number two for Logan Gilbert. I guess it would be weird. Fox games would be today. Now here is the pitch, and that is right up the middle for a strike. It's really nice to see. And Logan Gilbert, one of the top whiff rate. So he does cause a lot of swings and misses. Logan Gilbert's really got good stuff. 
And now here's the 0 1 pitch, and that is outside for a ball. And now here's the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And it says Willer, Willier, B, Abreu, I don't know. He batted 316 last season with two home runs and 14 game and 14 RBIs. And now he's working on a 1-2. And now here is the pitch. Check swing. No, strike three. Call it another strikeout for Logan Gilbert. Logan Gilbert is absolutely on fire. That is three strikeouts for Logan Gilbert. And now we've got two down already. And only 22 pitches in the second inning with only one out to go. Artie sucks because he is an owner. Are we talking about Artie R Moreno? Yeah, he's terrible. And now here's the pitch, and that is swing and pop and foul. But yeah, Artie Moreno is a terrible owner. At least he spends the money. He's just He just shouldn't be the GM. That's why Jerry Depoto left. And now we're looking at... The 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball that is foul. Now, here's the 0 2 pitch, and that is going to be a ball. Now here's the pitch, and now here is a fly ball, and that could be trouble, and that's going to drop in for a base hit for Mitch Hanniger. He's going to throw all the way to second base, and that is going to be a single. That was Rafaela already, and now the, there goes that. There goes everything. And now here is the next hitter. Here's Valdez. And that is in there for a strike. That is going to be 0 for 1. 0 and 1. And here's the 0 1 pitch. And that is outside for a ball. And now we're looking at the 1-1 count. And here's the pitch. And swing and a miss. And no throwing. Emmanuel Valdez is now working on a one and two count. Fans would really like, I mean, I would really like to see the, the Jumbotron, the, the stadium is trying to get the fans going. Pitch count is starting to get up there into the 30s. Logan Gilbert's on a one two count. And now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and the throw to, well, yeah, but he's swing and miss. So he's a strikeout, right? Yeah. Why did you throw the second base for? And that will retire the side. And that's the fourth strikeout for Logan Gilbert. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom. one nothing Mariners so far. And here is something for you guys. In case you cannot go to the Julio Rodriguez bobblehead night. Julio Rodriguez is primed for a possible MVP season. And I couldn't be any more excited for that possibility of a performance for 2024. However, how can you start the 2024 season without some Julio merchandise. Check out this Funko Pop action figure of Julio Rodriguez when he was an all-star in 2022. Go ahead and check this out. Yep, go ahead and check that out. There's the price for that. Sorry about the all sizes available. Doesn't really make any sense why I put that. That was for a t-shirt that I did the other day. You, you finally, your IPTV finally put the M's on. That's funny.
just going through my phone for the moment. And looks like, are we back on from commercial break? Yes, we are back from the break. And now looks like we've got Ty France up to bat. And here's the pitch. And here's the ground ball. And that gets through for a base hit. And Ty France gets on base with a single. And Ty France, yep, that swing looks a little bit better. And good to see him on first base with a single. Ty France with a nice grounder. And that just went right through. And now, who's next to bat? I got to find out and see who is up to bat. And now here is Luke Rayleigh up to bat. And now here's the pitch. And that is a ball. Ah, oh, flick of a switch. What would we do without you? You know what's funny? That other guy that we had yesterday, or whoever it was, that was basically you on steroids. He really just went right after my commercials. And Luke Rayleigh, he's on a 1-0. And here's the pitch. And here's ground ball foul. An animation when we do a home run? I mean, I don't know what kind of anim anim animation I would do if, if I know how to make one. And now here's the 1-1. One, one. And now here is a fly ball to right field. Is that going to be enough? Nope, that's going to be a fly out. <sighs> yep, that didn't go anywhere, but it was a nice swing. Just got under it. Powerpuff Girls? Um, yeah, I got something for you, Flick of the Switch. Obviously, I can't sing the song. But now you got me in the mood because I I used to watch... I remember watching Powerpuff Girls when I was a kid. I know. I, I know. My Little Pony? Of course not. Do you like Norb Cam with a touchdown? Hmm, never seen that before. Care Bears? I never got into Care Bear, but I have done a Build-A-Bear Bear. I have an embarrassing story with that. Now here's Dylan Moore up to bat. And now here's the pitch. And that is inside for a ball. Who's broing me? Here, I got... Maybe I can do this. I'll do. I'll do something for you guys. After this. And now here is the 2-0 pitch. And now here's a ground ball right to the third baseman. The throw to first. And it's in time. Barely. He, he did get off the bag, but that is still. And now here's Josh Rojas. We got two outs so far. Josh Rojas is one for two in the series. And now here's the pitch. And now here is a fly ball. Is that going down to the gap? Nope, that is going to be caught. And that's going to retire the side. That is no runs. One hit, one man left on. We go to the top of the inning. And I got I to gotta show this one. Need a professional looking e-commerce site or blog? On a tight deadline and need it fast for a low price? Check out these designs by Rod. Have a Shopify or WordPress site that looks professional and has all the features you need to sell in under a week. So, yep, go ahead and take advantage of that. And since you guys brought up the Power of Cup Puff Girls, now I got to do this. <clears throat> Sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girls. 
but Professor Utonium accidentally added extra ingredient to the concussion chemical X. Kaboom! Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born using their ultra powers. Blossom, Butters, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil. Da, ba, ba, da, 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 da. And there goes Bubbles all looking happy. And then you got Buttercup looking all angry and pissed off. And then they beat up all the bad guys. But unfortunately, there is a backstory to their main villain, Mojo, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo! He was part of the professor's life. He was their pet, helped him with the experiments. But then that chemical X, he was actually on that side effect. Like that explosion actually messed up his brain. And his brain started growing too. Well, he had to cover up his brain. And then also because of the Powerpuff Girls, you know, so adorable, you know, he was then heavily neglected. He never got the attention that he wanted, which means he, unfortunately, he left to become the villain. I actually like Mojo Jojo. He was really cool. And now we are back from the break and we are at the top of the inning. Now here's the pitch, and that is a strike. And now here's Gilbert. Here's the pitch, and that is low for a ball. We're looking at a one and one. Trident couldn't make it, but he is projected to maybe be here Tuesday and Friday. That's the projection right now. And now here's the 1-1. One, one. And here's a line drive, and that's going to go right to Hanniger, and he makes the catch. And now we've got one down. Logan Gilbert's been pitching a beauty so far. Hey, come on. Don't give him a hard time, man. The guy's got to move. I mean, I would love it. I would love if he was there, though. I mean, I, I can't blame you for saying it. But it's just what it is. And now here's the pitch to Connor Wong and a swing and a miss. Strike one. Man, you guys are booing at my Powerpuff Girls intro. And now here's the 0-1 pitch. And here's a ground ball right off of Logan Gilbert. Here's the throw to first, and it's in time. Didn't go right, didn't go off of him, but it just went right through him. You should get a woman co-anchor. If I can, are you saying that that would attract more attention? Is that what you're going about? And speak of, because Julio Rodriguez bobblehead night's getting close, I'll give him the spotlight as well. Move over, Spartan. There you go. And now here's the pitch. And that is up high for a ball. Man, flick of the switch. Giving me all these ideas. I will say this, if I'm, and now here's the 1-0 pitch, and check swing, did he go? He did not. Uh, Chris says, should I try, I should try to work with Root Sports? No, because that would probably destroy my channel because I won't have time. Man, flick the switch, you hate everything about my commercials. And now here's the 2-0 pitch, and that is a foul ball. I mean, yeah, Root Sports is terrible with commentary. The only competent guys there is Aaron Goldsmith. That's really about it. Everyone else is like cringe. But the thing is, I'd rather compete against them and draw the audience over here. And maybe someday, maybe I'll get a TV rights deal. And here's a 2-1 pitch. And that is outside for a ball. Man, if I did something like that, I would have absolutely no life at all if I, if I ended up doing something like that. And now here is the pitch, and that is going to be ball four. Duran gets on base. That leaves a threat on the first base. What's your favorite baseball movie? Dave Sims is, was pretty good. My favorite baseball movie is Moneyball. And here's my favorite scene from Moneyball. Why do you like him? Because he gets on base. Indeed, he does get on base.
It looks like Cal Brawley's having a little chatter with Logan Gilbert. And man, I just can't help but say that those jerseys are butt ugly. See if Stacy Roast would host you. Um, what if I can get Jen Mueller? And Stacy Rose has a husband. I'm not gonna mess with that. Is Jen Mueller taken too? No one told me anything about that. Here's Masataka Yoshida. Here's the pitch. And that is low for a ball. Yeah, I know. Co-host, but... Yeah, I'll, uh, if I would pick anyone, I'll take Jen Mueller to be my co-host. But I don't think I, that ever happened. Definitely not Angie Mentic. Now here's the pitch. And that is a strike. Angie Mentic was also... I remember I was old enough to remember her as Angie Arlotti. I can't believe I was actually old enough for that. And they throw the first, and it's not in time. And now here is the 1-1 one, one pitch. And that is low for a ball. Is Duran going to second base? He gets an easy stolen base right there. Maybe the Texans will make an account champion. What? I remember. Yeah, you remember when I cussed up the storm last year when we played our last series against the Astros? Yes, I did cuss up the storm. And not only did I cuss up the storm, I also blacked out the screen. And now here's the 2 1. Here's a ground ball. And that gets through. Is that a foul? That's a foul ball. And thanks to you guys, I really got to show you this clip. Yes, I did cuss up the storm. I cussed up the storm a lot last year, but I'm really looking to bring it down a lot more. I mean, I'll admit that the me cussing up the storm had a lot to do with the fact that not only were the Mariners just stinking up the storm against the Astros, but also I was really trying to build my YouTube channel to get to the monetization. Here's a 2-2 pitch and a swing and a foul ball. Yeah, I, I got to show you this moment. This is how angry I was. When it all happened. Sailor. Yep, the sailor talk. Just like Spongebob. Mr. Krabs says, You must never use seven of the 13 bad words. And we're still looking at a 2-2. Logan Gilbert just threw the ball back at first, the second base. And now here's the 2-2, two -two, and that is low for a ball, 3-2. and two. Hey, Rooftop, did you hear about some of the Sailor Mouth Uncensored Tap League? I don't know. And here's the pitch, and now here is a fly ball to deep, and Julio, he makes the catch, and that will retire the side. Woo! I really thought that was going to go somewhere, but we go to the top of the bottom of the inning, and the Mariners still lead it 1-0. And now here is – well, first I got to show – Okay, I, well, first I got to show this. Sorry. Since 2022, I have been growing this YouTube channel, and I just want to say thank you very much for being part of the growth and for the future. I now have memberships to offer for you. I got two different ones. I got Rooftop Fans and Rooftop Super Fans. For Rooftop Fans, which is $1.99 per month, you'll get loyalty badges to give you priorities for responses to comments, and you will even have access to special emojis that I made myself. As for Rooftop Super Fans, which is $4.99 per month, you will not only get the benefits of Rooftop Fans, you will also get priority to future videos, including nostalgic videos. So go ahead and check out my membership, and thank you for your support. And there it is. It's Rooftop Fans for $2 a month, or Rooftop Super Fans for $5 a month. Go ahead and take advantage of that.
And because you guys brought up my cussing up the moon, here it is, just for you guys. Be calm about this and take it like a bitch. And we've got a base hit, and honestly, I think I'm just going to... That's exactly what happened. I completely just blacked out because I was just so mad about the game. When are we moving the A's to Las Vegas? By 2027, I believe. Did I hear about Sailor's Mouth Uncensored Tap on le lat Tap Leak? I have not heard about that. But man, SpongeBob was a show back then. And now Nickelodeon has pretty much milked it. But Nick Nickelodeon's got some other problems. Woo! It's pretty bad. And it looks like J.P. Crawford, I missed something, was not paying attention. Looks like, and he fell down. Looks like he rolled his ankle. I hope he's okay. But he's out. And now here's Julio, swing and a miss, and he really tried to hit that home run. And that's going to be strike one. And now here's the pitch, and that is up high for a ball. Now here's the 1-1, one, one. and now here's a ground ball right to the second baseman, the throw to first, and it's in time. And we've got two down already. And that's going to bring up Jorge Polanco. Hopefully the Mariners can get something out of Jorge Polanco because he hasn't really done anything. And now here's the pitch to Polanco. And that is a strike. Mar Mariners are stacking up the hits. Well, they are, but they're not scoring right now. And now here's the pitch, and that is up high for a ball. We're looking at a 1-1 so far. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. And Jorge Polanco is just, he just cannot get the barrel to the ball. And now here's the one-two pitch. And that is strike three called. And that will retire the side. And we are going to the top of the fourth inning. And that was an easy one-two-three by Crawford. And now another commercial break as I shall. Modern Exterior Solutions is a fully licensed and insured full-service exterior renovations company serving Seattle and Eastside communities. We know that a home is one of your most important possessions. That's why we're committed to providing high-quality, affordable home renovations for each customer's individual budget. We're diverse enough to meet the challenges of any project you put in front of us. Our workmanship minimizes the use of third-party services, and our team works together to meet all your deadlines. Anytime there's a challenge, we work with you to find a solution. We're proud to work with distributors of quality brand products with durable, ample protection from the elements for a variety of applications, including James Hardy siding and trim. Talk with us today about your project's needs, and we can help you solve all the challenges along the way. Yep, and give that number a call, 206-992-4465. 206-992-4465 to get 20% off 
by using modern rooftop. But yeah, Jorge Polanco has been absolute been dog, you know what, which is really sad to say. I mean, we were we had a lot more expectations for Jorge Polanco. Like that move was what got us really excited. And and now it looks like Jared Apoto could once again be a victim of the bad ownership once again. Oh wow. I'm just I'm just looking at videos that Jose Caballero is getting the faces of the Blue Jays. And looks like I mean it's not like we really had much of a role for Jose Caballero, but he really does like the trash talk. And now here's the pitch. And that is a strike. Logan Gilbert, he's got four strikeouts and a walk. And now here's the pitch, and that is a strike. We are in the first series. We still got over 100 games. I know, but it just makes me nervous when they're performing like this. <laughs> Cobby was annoying. But hey, he got in the faces of the Houston Astros at least. And now Trevor Story is up. And now here is the pitch. And now here is a fly ball to deep right center field, but Hanniger is there and he makes the catch. And that is one down. And this game has been going on like a breeze. Cobby runs like the wind. He really does. He is a hustler. And now here's the pitch, and that is a foul ball off the foot. This is the same team it has been for 20 years. Yep, this type of performance is nothing new. <laughs> Logan Gilbert and Tristan Casas, he did strike out last time around. Logan Gilbert's been playing very well, and it looks like the Texas Rangers have just won 11-2 in absolute dominating fashion. Yankees just beat the Astros with a one Soto home run. And now here's the 0-1 pitch, and that is a strike. And we're looking at the 0-2 count. And here is the 0-2 pitch. And that is low for a ball, 1-2. and two. And now here's Tristan Casas. Now here's the 1-2 pitch. And now here is a pop-up, and that is going to go right to J.P. Crawford. And now we got two outs already. And now here is a Brayu, and now here's the pitch. And here is a fly ball to left field. Is that playable for Rayleigh? And he makes the catch! And that will retire the side once again. Another, It's a 1-2-3 inning for the Mariners, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still 1-0 Mariners. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal, and you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description, so take advantage, and thank you. 
flick of the switch, how behind could I be? I mean, this is the most up to date on the root root sports I've got right now. If you had to get rid of one, who would it be? Logan Gilbert or George Kirby? I would say Logan Gilbert. I'm more of a George Kirby guy. Castillo's a good point. I mean, I don't really like Castillo that much, to be honest with you. I never, I it's like he's good, but he is very inconsistent. And it looks like my game is lacking right now. And they're talking, they're advertising that Julio Rodriguez bobblehead. And my game is seriously lagging, so I can't really see anything what's going on. And we are back from the break. And now here is Mitch Hanniger up to the plate. I've got to be that behind. And now here's the pitch. And now here is a check swing and the throw to first. And it's in time. You already won down. Castillo doesn't have that fire that Gilbert and Kirby have. Yeah. And now here's the pitch to Raleigh. And that is going to be a ball. 10 seconds behind. Ugh. I mean, my YouTube itself already is behind in general. So, you know, that's what YouTube does. And Cal Raleigh, here's the 1-0 pitch. And that is up high for a ball. That's going to be a 2-0 count. The count is in his favor so far. Hoping to make it tomorrow for the game. And now here's the 2-0 pitch. And that is a strike. Hopefully the Mariners win it all. Didn't expect that to hear that from a Houston fan. And also, I have passed 1460 subs. I'm at 1461. Hoping to get to the magic number of 1500. Here's the pitch. And that is a strike. If I get to 1500, that means for the 500, I will be... I will be halfway until 2000. You watch the MLB at bat live in Wyoming from Everett, though. In Wyoming from Everett. What's that supposed to I don't get it. And now here's the pitch. And now here is a fly ball to deep left field and foul. Even if it went fair, it would have been playable. And now we're looking at a 2-2. Cal Raleigh was already at a 2-0 count. Now he's down to a 2-2. Two balls and two strikes. Stop showing show me commercials and you'll hit 3K by the end of the year. I mean, I didn't show that many commercials last year and it took me a grind to get to 1,000. Here's the pitch and that is low for ball three. We're looking at a full count right now. And now here's the pitch. And that's a ground ball foul. Now here's the 3-2 pitch, and that is fouled again. Cal Raleigh's looking, working on a 3-2. Hello, Miles. How's it going? And here's the full count, and that is a foul tip again.
And we're looking at the full count. And here's the pitch. And here is a fly ball line drive. And that is caught by the center fielder. It was a diving stop. And now we've got two down for the Mariners. Ask the chance at a 0 and 162, huh? Now here's Ty France. And that is going to be a ball. 1-0 count. And here's the pitch. And now here is a fly ball to deep right center field. And that is caught. And that's going to be another 1-2-3 against the Mariners. And we go to the top of the fifth. Are you in need of a professional voice to help develop your e-modules, explainers, narrations, video ads, video content, and more? You are in the right place as I do provide an expressive and engaging voice for your work. And I do provide competitive prices. If you are interested, here is the link in the description and or comments. And thank you. And yep, if you would like to use that to use my voice. And yeah, it was a scoring RBI. It was a Mitch Hanniger RBI single. That's been the only run so far. And now they're showing a bunch of things. I don't even know, like some Xbox. I don't even know what this is. Do it all, all at once, fast, Xfinity. Wow, whatever. And we are back from the break, and you can see all those Mariner fans enjoying all those meals. Josh is being hard on the Astros. I mean, look at me. I'm hard on the Mariners, so <laughs> it's not much. we're not much different from each other like Dr. Evil once said. We're not so different, you and I. And Gilbert is working on a 1-0. He tried that changeup. And this is Raffaella. And now here's the 1-0. And the swing and a miss, strike one. It's going to be a one and one count so far. And now here's the one one pitch. And now here's a line drive. And that's going to be fair ball. And that's going to be extra bases. And is he maybe going to third base? He is going to stop at second base. And that's going to be a double. And Boston is already threatening. They already have a. Runners in scoring position. Yep, that was a nice driving hit, only to make it a fair ball. And now here is the pitch. And here is a pop-up to going to the warning track. And Rayleigh is there. He makes the catch. And Rayleigh is, and there's a tagging from third. And it was a terrible throw by Rayleigh. And now there's a man on third base. He tagged up. Because he knew that Rayleigh was going to have much of an arm. And he did tag up.
And now here's the pitch. And that is in there for a strike. Pablo Reyes. He's batting eighth in the order right now. He is 0 for 1. And now here's the pitch. And that is outside for a ball. One and one to count. Pablo Reyes, and here's the pitch. And that is outside for a ball. Two and one to count. He is 0 for 1 with a fly out in the third. And now here's the pitch. And now here's a ground ball and J.P. Crawford throw to first in time. But because the runner at third base, he was just way too fast. And now Boston has just scored. And now it's a tie game at 1-1. It was a nice diving stop by J.P. Crawford, but he couldn't get up on time because he was just, he had way too much of a lead. And now here's the a bunt attempt. And now here is the throw to first. And it is in time. And that will retire the side. What a play by Josh Rojas. Didn't think that was going to be pulled off. And we go to, are we going to the bottom of the fifth? Or is there going to be a challenge call? Looks like it's going to be a challenge. Yep, they're going to challenge that call. Let's take a look at and see if he was safe. Yep, and he's safe. That is absolutely safe, no doubt about it. Red Sox are challenging the play, and you can't blame them for it. And this may be the easiest call by the umpire. Yep, it's overturned, and that's going to be safe. And you can see the fans booing, but what are they booing about? They're booing that it was the right call. I mean, it, it was the right call. I mean, it was a bunt attempt, and Rojas had a lot to work on. I think if Gino was the third base, that would have been safe. If I were the Mariners, maybe they should look at who is available in the market for a third baseman. And now here is Duran. And now here's a line drive, and that is a base hit. That could advance the runners, and he is going to third base. There is no throw to third as it was cut off by Crawford, and Boston is doing some damage already. We've got runners on first and third so far. Oh, boy. Runners in first and third as, as if there was already, like, brilliant pitching by... There was really brilliant pitching. We always have problems with two outs. We do. Ty France is vibing with the guy at first base. That is Duran. But we got to get this guy out. We really got to get these guys out. And now is Masataka Yoshida. He has a chance to give Boston the lead. And this lack of offense was only a matter of time. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Seems that the third base is going to be a problem because I really do think Gino and Seeger would have easily got those guys out. And it was just hustling play by Boston. Now here's the 0-1. Strike two. 
It's not going to feel good getting out of this inning because even if the Mariners do get out of this inning, at best, the Mariners are tied. But Masataka Yoshida has an opportunity to break this open. And now Gilbert's a set. Here's the 0-2. And that's going to hit the dirt. And the throw, no throw to second base. And now... You got runners on second and third, and Yoshida really has a chance to make it a three to one game. This Mariners offense is absolutely lacking. I mean, we get fooled every single time that I mean it was just a bad bounce. I mean, Cal Raleigh was fortunate to stop it. And now here's the one, two. And that's a foul ball. Must talk to Yoshida. That's something he's good at. He really is good at extending his plate appearances. To at least make it tough. Yoshida's 0 for 2. Gilbert's getting up to 70 pitches right now. He's being taxed on this inning very much. And here's the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. And that will retire the side. And you saw Logan Gilbert expressing very passionately as he got out of a very difficult inning. But Boston does tie the game. And now we're tied at 1-1. Julio Rodriguez is primed for a possible MVP season, and I couldn't be any more excited for that possibility of a performance for 2024. However, how can you start the 2024 season without some Julio merchandise? Check out this Funko Pop action figure of Julio Rodriguez when he was an all-star in 2022. Go ahead and check this out. Yep, go ahead and absolutely 100% check it out. Get that Julio Rodriguez merchandise right there. And here's a look at my friend Bobblehead right there. wonder if I could. You're not going to get much of an angle on that one. Can't really get the stand in a really good position. That's the best I can do. He's going to be right over here. Master Chief also wants attention, so he wants it to be here as well. And there's my Lord Vader right there. I wonder if I have any other merchandise that I can show off. Ah. It was a long time ago. Here's the Seahawks antenna ball. He was one of the first round picks in history of the Seahawks. Antenna ball. Remember the good old days when cars used to have actually have antennas for your radio? And now they don't really do that anymore. And remember, it was like, why they pick that guy? He's free. That was the time it was. And now we are back from the break. Still curious why the roof was closed, though. Work must have went well. Glad to see you streaming. I mean, yeah, what work? I didn't really have much today. It was mostly in the morning. So this is my third day in a row, and I'm looking at my fourth day of the row tomorrow, possibly. And now Luke Rayleigh, he is up to bat against Crawford, and now here is the pitch, and that is a ball. Crawford only has 49 pitches, now 50, so he's been pitching very e efficient, aside from that one run he gave up to Mitch Hanniger. And now here's the 1-0 pitch. And here's a ground ball foul by Luke Rayleigh. I like the swings that he's doing. It's just not got nothing much to show for it. A little shift going on. And now here's the 1-1. One, one, and that is outside for a ball. Luke Rayleigh's one for five in the series. He's really got to get it going. Now here is the two one pitch, and that is fouled again. And now we're looking at the two two pitch. And that is fouled back.
Luke Rayleigh with 19 home runs last season. And here's a 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And now there is one down. And now up to plate is, I think it's going to be either Josh Rojas or Dylan Moore. I think it's going to be Dylan Moore. Roberto Clemente, why are they talking about him? 12-time Gold Glove winner, 3,000 hits. Now here's the pitch, and here's a high-towering pop-up to the shortstop or third base. He's there. He makes the catch. And that was Reyes. And now J.P. Crawford looks like he may be up to bat, I think. No, it's going to be Josh Rojas. Here's Rojas. He was looking at a bunt. He, well, Yep, he drifted away from it. We're at the bottom of the fifth inning. Still 1-1. I mean, it is 1-1 just recently. Dirty baseball, you got to go bye-bye. And that is a strike, and Rojas could not believe it. Rojas is batting ninth in the order. Crawford with 58 pitches, going to be 59. And here's the 1-1. One, one. And that is a strike, and that is 1-2. One and, one and two. One for three in this series is Josh Rojas. He's really only had one hit, obviously. And now here's the one-two pitch, and that is low for ball two, two and two. Crawford with 60 pitches. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. The Mariners once again suffering another one, two, three against them. And now we go to the bottom, the top of the inning. It is still one, one. Need a professional looking e commerce site or blog on a tight deadline and need it fast for a low price? Check out these designs by Rod. Have a Shopify or WordPress site that looks professional and has all the features you need to sell in under a week. And yep, go ahead and, well, there's Rod by Design. If you'd like his work on websites or even photo uh, graphic designing stuff, there will be your opportunity there to contact him as he really does do good work. Oh, and my... Wow. <sighs> Would like to see how's everyone feeling. And also, I'm looking to do this as well. Like, so after the game, after I do my little post game show, I'm looking to like allow fans to call into the game. I'll show my QR code and the link to my show. So I'll give everyone a chance to talk. It was one to one. It was an umpire. He was safe after review. Too many. One, two, three. Offense. Bad. Polanco. Luke. They're bad. It's all bad. Logan Gilbert with five strikeouts. They were three of them were by fastballs and two of them were by sliders. And Logan Gilbert still on 70 pitches so far. And now here is the pitch. 
And now here's a ground ball right to J.P. Crawford. The throw to first, and it's in time. Easy play to get Trevor Story out. They're talking about another Kia EV. So many EVs out there these days. I wonder if anyone drives an electric car these days. Now here's Tristan Casas, and here's the pitch, and that is up high for a ball. Tristan Casas is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop-up, and now here is a foul ball, another one. Now he's going to be down to, no, it's just 1-1 one and one so far. And now here is the 1-1 one, one pitch, and that is low for a ball. And now here's the 2-1 pitch, and it's foul ball, strike two. You love those free strikes. Three of them, yes. We got a 2-2 count so far. And here is the 2-2. Two -two, and that is foul ball. Mariners offense is absolutely lacking. Only two runs in the last two games. Aside from those home runs, they haven't really done anything exciting at all. Like... This was the 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 run, one run today was that was the first time it was driven in without a home run. And now here's the two two pitch, and that is low for ball three, full count three and two. Abreu is on deck. He'll be guaranteed up. Now here's the three two. And here's a ground ball right to Ty France. He has it. Toss the first, and that is in time. And that is out number two. And we are going into, well, still at the top of the sixth inning. I almost said the third, the seventh, sixth, the bottom of the sixth. And it's been quiet since with my chatting group. It was enjoyable, at least. And now here is the pitch, and that's going to be a strike. And we're looking at the 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. That is Abreu. He is down to two strikes right now. And now here is the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss hits the ground. The throw to first. And it is in time. And we got a 1-2-3 inning, but... We need Logan Gilbert to get that run support, which the Mariners aren't giving him. Hopefully they will at the bottom of the sixth inning, and we will find out if that happens after these messages. Since 2022, I have been growing this YouTube channel, and I just want to say thank you very much for being part of the growth and for the future. I now have memberships to offer for you. I got two different ones. I got Rooftop Fans and Rooftop Super Fans. For Rooftop Fans, which is $1.99 per month, You'll get loyalty badges to give you priorities for responses to comments, and you will even have access to special emojis that I made myself. As for Rooftop Super Fans, which is $4.99 per month, you will not only get the benefits of Rooftop Fans, you will also get priority to future videos, including nostalgic videos. So go ahead and check out my membership, and thank you for your support. Yeah, absolutely, thank you for being part of my channel, but you can support it even further by... 
supporting the rooftop super fans or support the rooftop fans for those affordable prices to help grow this channel. What do you think of one more inning from Walter? 100% absolutely should go into the seventh inning for sure. And it looks like we are back from the break. We are at the bottom of the inning. And I believe J.P. Crawford is going to be up. So we got the top of the lineup. So hopefully Mariners can make something happen this time. And I say that a lot, but they've got to do something. Here's J.P. And that is going to be up high for a ball. Now here's the 1-0, and that is up there for a strike. Much of the players have been struggling. And now here's the 1-1, and that's going to be outside for a ball. 2-1 and one for J.P. Crawford. And now, here is the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. That is going to be strike two. He whipped at that one. We're looking at a 2-2. Two and two. And here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And J.P. Crawford has been striking out quite a bit. Not looking good so far. What in the world's going on? That's not the J.P. Crawford that we remember from last season. And now here is Julio Rodriguez. He is up to bat, batting second in the order. He's 0 for 2 with two ground outs. And here's the pitch. And that is low for a ball, 1 and 2 and 0. Oh. And now here's the 2-0 pitch. And that is a strike. And Julio Rodriguez had words with the umpire on that one. And it did miss the strike zone, but he called it anyway. And now here's the 2-1. And that is popped up, fouled, and out of play. But Julio is now down to two strikes. That was not a good swing. He's really not taking the good swings right now. Julio Rodriguez had a pretty high K rate, more than the MLB average by 2%. His walk rate was lower than the average as well. Now here's the 2-2 pitch, and that is a foul. I like the contact, but it just went away. Julio's got to get something going. Team, the team cannot afford to stay like this forever. It's only You only feel like it's going to be a matter of time when Boston scores, and especially cannot trust this bullpen either. At least until Brash and Santos are back. And now we're looking at a 2-2. And here's the 2-2 pitch. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. 
And I question that swing too, because it, it did go down. Yes, it was a breaking stuff, but it didn't look like it was going to be a strike anyway. But what am I to know? The game happens really fast. And now we're looking at a 3-2 count. And here's the full count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And Julio Rodriguez goes down. He's still making terrible swings. I do not like how he's doing this. And now here is Jorge Polanco. Can he do something? And he watches it go in for a strike. Who are these pitchers? Nolan Ryan? Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? And now we're looking at the 0-1. Here is a bunt attempt. and oh, With two outs? What are you doing? It's just that they're just not... They're making really bad swings. Like, Scott Service doesn't really do a good job trying to get them to stop swinging so badly. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And that's foul ball. And we're not seeing any barrel at all. Jorge Polanco is one for nine in this series. He's really got to step up. And I'm very concerned about this offense. First game, our offense was good. Last two games, horrible. I mean, even the offense, the first game was iffy at best. And here's the 0-2 pitch. I'm surprised he didn't swing at that one. It's going to be a one and two. I mean, if you if you don't even, if you take away those home runs, like it was not a good offensive performance because there was a lot of, Stranded runners on base, especially that first inning against Boston. And now we're looking at the one and two, and here is the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. And these check swings are just driving me crazy. We're looking at a two two. And now here's the two two pitch. And that is outside for ball three. Three and two to count. And Jorge Polanco, we're looking at a 3-2. And here's the 3-2 pitch. And that is up high for ball four. And Jorge Polanco finally gets on base for the first time since the very first game. What do you like him? he gets on base and now that gives the opportunity for mitch hanniger mitch hanniger is up to the plate maybe he can do some threats which would be really nice And now Mitch Hanniger, yep, he's batting cleanup. He's one for two with an RBI. He's been arguably the best hitter for the Mariners this, this season so far. And it looks like they've got some activity in the bullpen so far. Geez, 14 in a row was retired. I didn't even think of that. And now here is the pitch. And Hanniger just with that check swing, like, what are these Mariners doing with these insane amount of check swings? And now here's the 0-1. And now here's a fly ball hooking foul. There, lo there was a chance. It, it looked promising for a home run, and I would have more than taken that, obviously, because it's a home run. Crawford is at 82 pitches, so the Mariners have finally taxed on him this, this inning. But here's the 0-2. And here is the pitch. And that is low for a ball. One and two to count for Mitch Hanniger. It really does feel refreshing to have Mitch Hanniger back on this team. If he ever gets hurt, I will cry like a baby. And 
And Mitch is looking again, and here's the one, two. And it's strike three called, and that will retire the side. And Mariners leave a man on base. I mean, the umpire has been terrible on both sides of it, if you really think about it. And now we are going into the top of the inning. It's going to be the top of the seventh inning, and it's still a 1-1 game. At least I get a minute long break on this one. Modern Exterior Solutions is a fully licensed and insured full service exterior renovations company serving Seattle and East Side communities. We know that a home is one of your most important possessions. That's why we're committed to providing high quality, affordable home renovations for each customer's individual budget. We're diverse enough to meet the challenges of any project you put in front of us. Our workmanship minimizes the use of third party services and our team works together to meet all your deadlines. Anytime there's a challenge, we work with you to find a solution. We're proud to work with distributors of quality brand products with durable, ample protection from the elements for a variety of applications, including James Hardy siding and trim. Talk with us today about your project's needs and we can help you solve all the challenges along the way. And use that promo code Modern Rooftop to get 20% off. And use that phone number, 206-992-4465, and use that QR code to access the website to get more information as well. Talking about the Seattle Aquarium, asking you to donate to them. And looks like we are back from the break. Now we've got 25 concurrent views, 14 of them from Twitter. Or shall I say the X that he calls it? How's it going, Mr. Matsui? Thank you for joining this show. Help me more with the donations. That'd be great. Hey, Riley, how's it going? And now here's the pitch. And that is a foul ball. Why does the Mariners offense make pitcher like Pavita and Crawford look like 2012 Tim Lincecum? Or why do they make any of them look like stars, which is really embarrassing because these are four point ERA guys. They should be beating up on them. And here's the O2 pitch. And that is foul ball. Rafael has been four for 10 in this series. He's been doing damage for the Red Sox so far. And now we're looking at the time's been called by Rafaela. And now we are looking at the 0-2 pitch to Rafaela. And that gets away, and that's going to be a one and two. And now here's the one, two, and a swing and a miss, strike three, and we've got one down. Logan Gilbert is now at 86 pitches. I really think that Scott Service is going to try to pull him out, but I just don't see it necessary. Logan Gilbert is the hot hand right now, and now here's the pitch. And that is a foul ball. I feel like the Mariners do good against great pitchers, but bad against bad pitchers. Yeah, that's like a Seattle thing where they do beat up on good teams, but then they do terrible against bad teams. Got, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Like, this is why you don't like, you, you just keep Logan in there. Like, two, the 2000-2001 Sonics were a perfect example. They swept the Lakers in season series, but struggled against other bum teams. Hence, missing the, missing the playoffs. And now here's the 0-2. And that is low for a ball. One and two the count.
And now here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Hits the ground and the throw to first. And it's in time. We got two outs. And now here is the pitch. And now here's a fly ball to left field, but Rayleigh will be there. And he makes the catch. And look at Julio. He, was, he just let him have it. He was really tempted to take it away from him. But we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Stretch time. And now everyone get up on your feet for the seventh inning stretch. Let's time to sing. Take. Me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. So let's root, root, root for the Mariners. They don't win. It's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal. And you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description. So take advantage, and thank you. And if you would like the opportunity, yep, use that promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your purchase, your next purchase for your ticket. So go ahead and take advantage of that whenever you can. I'm at 28 so far. Why do I even care about that? And looks like we are back from the break. And are, have they changed their pitchers yet? I don't know if they did. It looks like they did. It's going to be Isaiah Campbell, the former Mariner. And... And we're looking at a 1-0 count so far. And now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Now here's the pitch to Cal Raleigh. And that's going to be a 1-1 one one count. Here's the 2-1, and that's going to be a strike, and that's going to be a 2-2 two -two count. Cal should be able to smash Isaiah. He knows what he pitches. That That's a great point. Why not? Or more like Isaiah knows him. But yeah, Cal Raleigh should have a really good grasp on Isaiah Campbell for sure. That's a really good point by Kevin Kirby. And now here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. So maybe Isaiah Campbell knows him. You know, there's that, hey, you know us, but we know you. So that's not going to help at all. And now here is Ty France. 
And here's the pitch. And that is a ball. Ty for France is batting sixth in the order. He's got one and no count on him. And here's the pitch from Campbell. And that is a foul ball. That's the other thing. Campbell knows us. He knows us. He knows our bats. So that's why they put him in. That looks like that trade is aging like fine milk. With that Urias trade. And here's the pitch. And that is low for a ball. That's going to be a two and one. Eight pitches for Campbell so far. He got one out on Kyle Raleigh. Here's the two one. And that is a ball. Three and one. And here's the 3-1 pitch. Check swing. Did he go? He did not have to do that. So many check swings. It was literally just hitting the dirt, and you still swung at it. Luke Rayleigh is on deck. And now here's the 3-2 pitch. And here's a ground ball right to the third baseman, the throw to first. And it's in time, and now we've got two down already. Isaiah Campbell has really handled the Mariners well. Are the Astros jinxed at home? Looks like they were in the playoffs. They lost to Texas in all those games. And now we got Luke Rayleigh. Hopefully he can get something going because he really has to. And now here's the pitch. And that's a foul ball. I thought we got rid of the strikeouts and bad swing problems when Gino and Teo left. It seems like it's gotten even worse. One for six is Luke Rayleigh. And here's the 0-1. And that's a swing and a miss. Now here, and a strike three called, and Luke Rayleigh goes down in strikes, and that's a one, one, two, three, two strikeouts by Campbell. And you thought last night's game was fast. This game has really gone fast, that's for sure. <sighs> Julio Rodriguez is primed for a possible MVP season. And I couldn't be any more excited for that possibility of a performance for 2024. However, how can you start the 2024 season without some Julio merchandise? Check out this Funko Pop action figure of Julio Rodriguez when he was an all-star in 2022. Go ahead and check this out. Yep, absolutely check it out. And I'll, I will send you the link of that in just a moment. I'm getting the link right now. There it is. And here's the link. We should have paid the freight for Soto. We should have done a lot of things. It's just frustrating to see the Mariners do absolutely just completely nothing. The Mariners would never spend that much on two players. They won't. But it, it, this, I mean, this organization is full of hypocrisy. Somehow, like the likes of Pat Gillick, Jerry Depoto, Hollander, Woody Woodward, when they were when they were building contending teams, all of a sudden their their payrolls were like completely strapped to nothing, and then all of a sudden, Bill Bavese is allowed to spend that money. Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer should absolutely be getting a job by now. He should be on the Mariners. He's a fantastic pitcher. 
I don't care what his baggage is worth. Most of that was based on lies. The, the, the judge even threw it out. There was not even a settlement on that. And Logan Gilbert gets taken out. I don't like this. Uh, Bill Gates, no, I do not trust Bill Gates. Bill Gates is not even a sports guy. He's a heavy philanthropist guy, very political guy. I would not have Bill Gates. I don't care how rich he is. He's not the guy for me, for this team. And here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. And I, I will say, I do not agree pulling out Logan Gilbert. I did not agree with it one bit. I think that was a bad move. He was pitching very well because he's one of those that's keeping it in the game. Mike Bloomberg's all, he's just too business savvy. He's an old man. Nah, not Mike Bloomberg. I would not take him. Bring back Jack Z, Steve Ballmer, but he's too much into his Clippers, so that's not going to happen. Jack Z only spent money because he probably begged the ownership of Nintendo to spend money because their farm system was absolutely nothing. But even with Robinson Cano, they still didn't really spend it all. Like they got Nelson Cruz, but that was on a really nice contract. But then they did nothing after that. Elon Musk would never buy the Mariners. He would never buy a sports team, but like in a hypothetical sense, absolutely would take Elon Musk. The guy's full of passion and he'll spend money to poverty if he has to. And here's the pitch. And that is a ball on the inside. <clears throat> and now here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. And strike three. Down goes. And now we got one out. This video is about to break 100 views for the third night in a row, so I'm really happy about that. Hopefully, I can keep up this grind going. And Now, here's the pitch, and that is a strike. How about A-Rod and win Seattle over again? Yeah, let's, let's do it. I mean, his deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves fell apart, but maybe that's a red flag. Maybe just, I don't know. Best owner in baseball was George Steinbrenner. Here's the pitch. And that's a ball. I'm going to say the Texas owners are the best. They spend at anything. So I'll give it to the Texas Rangers. They have the best owners in baseball. Or the Dodgers, too. Don't forget about that. And here's the 1-1. But I would trust Texas's ownership because not only do they spend the money, they also delegate very well. They have a great GM in Chris Young. If anyone remember Chris Young, he was the pitcher of the Mariners in 2014. And now here's the 2-1 pitch. And now here's a ground ball right to the second baseman to throw to first, and it's in time. Got two down. I would keep Spire if he can if he can keep this going. No need to like just keep yanking pitchers out. Mark Cuban loves Seattle. He didn't want the Sonics to leave. He also didn't he also wanted the Sacramento Kings to move to Seattle as well. Along with the Los Angeles Lakers, they were in support of that as well. But unfortunately, it did not happen. And here's Masataka Yoshida. And now here's the pitch. And that was right down the middle for a strike. 94 mile an hour fastball for Gabe Spire. And now here's the 0 1. And that is a strike. Yoshida is 2 for 10 in the series. They've been able to hold him for the most part. And here's the 0-2. And that is the 1-2. That's going to be a ball. Getting close to that magic number of 100. Just need that one more view. And now here's the 1-2. And that is inside for a ball. NBA's biggest regret moving Sonics because... 
of that move, you boycott Starbucks. I mean, there's a lot more to it than just Starbucks and Howard Schultz. There was also the city's mishandling of the whole situation. They didn't really do anything of it. Also, Howard Schultz, for some reason, couldn't find an owner, but somehow Balmer showed up in two years later, so kind of weird. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It is a 1-1 game. Since 2022, I have been growing this YouTube channel, and I just want to say thank you very much for being part of the growth and for the future. I now have memberships to offer for you. I got two different ones. I got Rooftop Fans and Rooftop Super Fans. For Rooftop Fans, which is $1.99 per month, you'll get loyalty badges to give you priorities for responses to comments, and you will even have access to special emojis that I made myself. As for Rooftop Super Fans, which is $4.99 per month, you will not only get the benefits of Rooftop Fans, you will also get priority to future videos, including nostalgic videos. So go ahead and check out my membership, and thank you for your support. I gotta go to the bathroom. That commercial was not long enough, but here's the Julio Rodriguez commercial that everyone loves. No fly zone, huh? I got this one. Mm -mm. That's it. Ha! Ah. <laughs> yes. And we are back from the break. I came back just in time for my bathroom break. And um, I, I guess I have time for this question. Do you think sports owners should finance? Do you think sports owners should finance their own stadiums and leave the city out of it? Here's the thing. The only reason I say yes, it's only because that whenever you ask the city for money or the state for money, there's nothing but political drama. It gets messy. And if you're the owner and you want the public money, you really got to kiss up to them. And most of these got you got to wake up. To, you got to live up to like all their W O K E stuff. And if you don't, they're not going to give you anything or even a conversation. And now here is the pitch. And now here's a fly ball to nothing. Canzone was pinch hitting. Kroenke of the LA Rams paid for his own stadium. That's funny. He couldn't even pay for his own stadium for the for the St. Louis Rams. He really wanted nothing to do with. He wanted nothing to do with St. Louis, that's for sure. But no, like, never should ask for public money just because. I mean, I won't like vote against it or anything. And now here is the pitch. And that is a strike. I mean, that's the thing. Like, you normally, you don't because there's just too much political drama. Now, here is the pitch. His wife is loaded, though. She owns Walmart. <laughs> That'll do it. The Walmart money does it. And now here's the 1-1, one, one, and that is a strike, and that's strike two to Josh Rojas. And you can't trust the government with stadium processes. And here's the 1-2 pitch, and that is outside. Uh, because when you go through the government, you have to go through like all their... Just a lot of politics in there, and that's why I don't like it when... Now, unless... I mean, look at the Climate Pledge Arena, the Key Arena remodel. That was also all private money. Here's a 2-2. And here's a line drive, and that will get through for a base hit. And Josh Rojas will get in there for a single. And the Mariners finally have someone on base. Aside from a walk in that 14-in-a-row retirement, Josh Rojas 
is on first base. So hopefully Mariners at the top of the lineup with J.P. Crawford can do something. And now here's J.P. Crawford up to bat. And now here's the pitch, and that is up high for a ball. And J.P. Crawford with the 1-0. Now here's the pitch, and that is a swing and a miss. And here's the pitch, and that is a ball. And Crawford is working on a 2-1 so far. And now here's the pitch, and that's a foul ball. Hit the skinny part of his bat. We're looking at a 2-2 count so far. 10 pitches in for Martin. As if they've already rotated around their bullpen. Here's the pitch. And there's a line drive caught and nothing doing. Hitting the skinny part. And they're able to pitch on the insides a lot. If you can do that, you get anyone out. And now here's Julio Rodriguez. This is his opportunity to show his clutch. But he's really not. Please give the NHL to Houston. Please, NHL, give me the Houston. What? Worst day. We are from the government. We are here to help. Yeah, I don't trust the government. That's all I can say. Julio is 0 for 3 with a strikeout in the 6th. Two for 10 in the series is Julio Rodriguez. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Julio, you don't have to swing at everything. That was a horrible pitch to swing. It was in the inside. I would have still taken that for a strike too, as well. And now Julio's waiting. Here's the 0-1. And he once again swings on the inside. I don't like these swings that he's doing. Julio is just not hitting good at all. Got two strikes, got two outs. And now here's the pitch. And that is strike three called. And down goes Julio again. I mean, that's on Julio. Like, he swung at ridiculous pitches. He swung everything on the inside. Mariners are just getting desperate. Like, you don't have to swing on the inside. That's all they're doing. I really feel bad for Logan Gilbert and George Kirby. None of them are getting run support. What up, it's the Lenovo guy. I'm trying to see if I even remember you. Never heard of you before. But nice to meet you.
but never heard of you. But nice to meet you. Lenovo guy. I'm, I'm still trying to get a grasp of if I've even met you before. Aha, uh -huh. when he visited, it's funny that <laughs> we recognize each other, but good to meet you. <laughs> we might have talked about something before, but yes, now I remember you. But yeah, good to see you. Good to see you again. And thanks for the support. We'll meet again for sure. And now, can we just leave Gabe Spire on? He was doing just fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that is Austin Voth, and he and that is going to be a strike right down the middle. We're at the top of the ninth inning. Hopefully, the Mariners can figure this out. And now here's the pitch. And I would not bring in Munoz because he's the closer. I would have kept. I would have just kept him Gabe Spire. And I want Tyson Miller. That's who I wanted. I didn't want Austin Voth or whoever these fools are. Once again, at three days in a row with 100 views, I really do appreciate it, guys. Now let's get some donos in there, donations. And for that, since I didn't even play a commercial this time, here it is. There's the opportunity to donate to my channel. And now here's the pitch, and it's way up high for a ball. And now here is the one-two pitch, the story, and that is fouled. And Austin Voth is working on a one-two. And here's the pitch, and that is outside. Here's the pitch, and that is a foul ball. And now Trevor Story is looking at a 2-2. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning for Austin Voth. Good pitching. And now here's the pitch, and that is inside for a ball. And here's the 1-0 pitch, and that is but just below the knees for a ball. And here's the pitch, and that is a strike. No robo umps. I don't want the robot umps because that means you're taking jobs away and the drama of the game. It's good for baseball to have bad umpires sometimes. Unless you're Angel Hernandez. He's bad. Now here's the 2-1, and that is up high for a ball. It's not um, bad umpiring. It's just bad pitching.
Tristan Casas is looking at a 3-1 count. Now here's a 3-1 pitch, and that is low for ball four. And all I can say is, I wanted Gabe Spire to stay one more inning. I was not for that. And this is not looking good. But they don't do their jobs at any other job. You get fired if you did horrible. Yeah, let's fire Angel Hernandez. That'd be a step, wouldn't it? Because he is a terrible umpire. Even his co-workers say he's terrible. Abreu is now batting fifth in the order. Now here's the pitch, and that is fouled. Oh, for three with a strikeout in the sixth. And here's the pitch. And that is outside for a ball. Austin Voth is now losing his control. What are you talking about, Josh? They have to fire Scott for sure. And that's a strike one and two. Yeah, Scott Service, honestly, he should have been fired after, in my opinion, after 2018, he should have been fired because there was just no point going through a rebuilding with Scott Service. But the only reason why he won't get fired is because of Jerry DePoto. Jerry DePoto is really good friends with Scott Service, so he's too loyal to him. And now we're looking at the 1-2 pitch, the 1-2 count for Abreu. Definitely needs this strikeout, or at least get some kind of an out. And now here's the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That is strikeout number two for Austin Voth. And now we are now, two outs. We got one out away from, from getting into the bottom of the ninth inning for the Mariners. They still have a solid part of their lineup. Polanco will be up, but he's not doing too good. Then Mitch Hanniger and Cal Raleigh. And that's if the Mariners can get out of this inning. And now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And is that going to advance the runner? That will not. Basically, every time the umpire core tries to fire him and take him out of the playoffs, Angel sues them and the MLB for being racist. So basically, it's not so much that he believes in the racism, I guess. I guess he just he just uses as a weapon. He uses the woke weapon against him. Ingenious. Here's the 0-1. And now here's a pop-up. And that is fouled. And we also got to put into account that Angel Hernandez is also from Cuba. And Cuba, terrible country, I must say. Because it's a country run by, by commies. Started by Fidel Castro. He was born in Havana, Cuba in 1961, right when Fidel Castro took over. I don't know if the Dodgers won. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and... Strike three. That is three strikeouts in a row for Austin Voth. That was a great inning by Austin Voth, despite walking. Maybe he'll get the win on this one. Jorge Polanco will be due up, and then Mitch Hanker, and then Cal Raleigh. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal, and you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description, so take advantage, and thank you. Alright, what do we got here? Too expensive for the MLB. You know they would most likely win because it'd be too expensive. Um, who is on the market? The Mariners. Uh, Buck Showalter. Uh, Joe Madden. I would like Joe Madden. He would definitely help this team. 
off mother sucker off topic do you think seahawks will win a division this upcoming season Ooh. it's still an opportunity because you've got the seat the i mean you still got to go up against the 49ers the rams are getting old cardinals aren't good so there's an opportunity but i can't say for sure i mean of course you want the Texans to go to the AFC Championship. They never have before. And now it looks like we got a new pitcher. We are back from the break. It's going to be Wiser. Looks like that's going to be his first appearance of the season, as I have yet to see this guy, especially I haven't seen a guy in a beard in Boston. And join the game? Of course I am, except it's very frustrating to watch. And now here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And Jorge Polanco, that, that swing is just, it feels like all half-ass. And also... Let me remind you guys, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and what is Polanco's swing up to? It's so bad. Oh, man. It's terrible. It's a horrible swing. He's like, we go, ooh, making a horrible swing. And now here is the 0-2 pitch. Check swing, did he go? He did not. What's with all these Seahawks people in here? I mean, you would think they can't be worse than Clint Hurt and Shane. That's all I can say. And yes, I do do Seahawks content, by the way. And now here's the pitch. And that is a foul ball. Andrew Nguyen, any other Seahawks YouTubers you follow? Like you got Norb Cam, Brandon Nelson, Stammy on tap. Now Polanco's awaiting. And here's the one-two pitch. And that is inside for a ball. Do you like the extra inning rules? Because I don't think you should have won a game. Start. Yeah, I don't like that. That's how the Mariners looked inflated. And in, that's how their record got inflated in 2021. And here's the two-two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. The, all these ridiculous swings and misses. So much whiffing. Like... The Mariners' goal was to get rid of strikeouts. Doesn't seem like they're doing a good job with that. It seems that having a Eugenio Suarez with 200 strikeouts was worth it. I mean, Jared Kelnick, fine if it means to get rid of Evan White and Marco Gonzalez, whatever. But that's just that's just a product of bad ownership. And here's Mitch Haniger, and that is in that is a ball. The Hawks nest another guy named Brandon, uh, Brandon Nelson, right? The the Asian guy. He's pretty good. I remember his very first video. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Hey, Rooftop, with the extra inning rule, you can throw a perfect game and still lose now. Yep. Just turned on the game. Two runs, 18 innings. A little bit concerning. Very concerning. And now here's the 1-1. And that is low for a ball. Two and one to count. Mitch Haniger, the best hitter on the Mariners. He has now three RBIs this season. Has a chance to be a hero once again. And now here's the 2-1 pitch. And that is in there for a strike. I think he should have swung at that one. Could have got an oppo home run out of that. Mitch Haniger is awaiting. It's a 2-2 count. And here's the 2-2. And that is fouled again. I like that swing. It's because we have zero offense and our owner didn't think we needed more help. He thought we were good stand pat before the trade deadline last year. John Stanton is easily the worst owner in baseball. Worse than John Fisher and Artie Moreno. And here's a 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And that was a nice breaking stuff. And that is strike three. And Mitch Haniger goes down and strikes.
I mean, we keep getting fooled every season that these little moves are going to help the Mariners, but they just don't. Now, the Suarez trade was really good. It did cost us straight Jake Fraley, though. And now here's Cal Raleigh has a chance to be the hero, if he will. Here's the pitch, and that is low for a ball. That's actually very true. Fisher has just been brought to lights all. Uh, John Fisher, once he goes to Vegas, he'll spend the money. Artie Moreno is just an idiot. That's all. Stanton's just a moron. Here's the pitch, and that is a ball. 2-0. And now we're looking at the 2-0 count. And here's the pitch. And that is a strike. This game is really making me shake. France is not even... Whatever. Here's the pitch. And that is no ball three. Artie isn't an idiot. He just doesn't want to be competitive. I mean, at least he tried with Trying to get Albert Pujols. Now here's the pitch. And that is ball four. Take your base. And that's going to be up for Ty France. Why do you like him? Because he gets on base. Now, here is Ty France. Here's the pitch, and that is a ball. We're hoping that Ty France can be the hero of this game. And here's the 1-0. And here's the pitch. And now here's a ground ball, and this is going to end the inning, and we are going into extras. And we go to the top of the 10th. You're going to have a runner on second base, and the Mariners are squandering every bit of opportunity. France did not do anything at all. I think the Mariners should call up Colt Emerson or Cole Young. I hate position players. It takes them forever to call up. <sighs> Cole Emerson is probably starting in Everett. Cole Young's going to double A. I think I, we might see Cole Young like later in the season, depending how he does in double A, but with how bad like third base really is already, it's not so much of a crazy idea. Now, Cole Emerson, he just got drafted, so I don't think that would happen. Even the Albert Pujols move was a calculated in his plan. That's why the Angels are a several billion dollar France. You stink, homie. He does stink right now. At least we don't have Aaron Nola. He is complete cheeks. <laughs> Third base is really concerning on defense. Would it have really been broken the bank? It, you're not. It, it wouldn't have broke the bank. Joe, what would you buy to eat at the ballpark? I wouldn't even eat anywhere in the ballpark. I'd just go to Chinatown. Too bad it's not across the street, literally. Nelson Cruz is retired. Ain't going to happen.
And we got a man on second. That is Rafael. He's a really fast guy. So you got to find, you got to watch him. And who's pitching right now? It's Trent Thornton. And now here's a bunt attempt. And now here's a pop up. And that is out. And the throw to second. And that is safe. Good heads up with that catch by Josh Rojas. And tried to. No, that's Luis Urias, the fat boy. And now here's Pablo Reyes. He's going for another bunt attempt. Thornton is looking at two pitches already. Well, just two pitches. Pablo Reyes, and here's the pitch. And that is in there for a strike. Yeah, I did not feel good about Urias. Like, the fact that he was out of shape really proved it's like he didn't seem committed to the game. I can't use that whole injury as an excuse. You got to... Got to fight back. Here's the pitch. And that's a ball. J.D. Davis signed with the A's for 3.5. Seattle could have gotten Davis. Really? So a broke Oakland team got J.D. Davis and we didn't? Nice. Now here's the... Whoa, no. Almost could have been a balk. Pablo Reyes is working on a one, two. And now here's the pitch and that gets away, but no movement. And that's going to be a two, two pitch. We're looking at a two, two. And here's the pitch. And here's the line drive. And that's going to get in there for a base hit. That's going to score in the run. And Boston takes the lead 2-1. to one, And it was only a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. With this offense just doing absolutely just atrocious. So many swings and misses. And it caught up to this. Also, maybe Austin Voss should have stayed one more inning. But this Mariners offense has been dog, you know what. I mean, I, I use Munoz for closer. He's not good at high leverage situations either. I wouldn't have used Munoz. Reese McGuire is up to bat. Yeah, they're probably going to do nothing because they're deflated. Their offense is awful. And that is a ball. I'm still looking to come back to the game tomorrow. I hope I can. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ground ball foul. Scott doesn't know how to manage bullpen, but anyway, you're right. But it's the mismanagement of bullpen. I've literally been saying that for years and nobody listens to me. No one listens to me. I remember I told this to Mariners Mojo on Twitter and they got offended because they love Scott service for whatever weird reason. Now here's the one, one pitch. And now here's a pitch out in the throw to second. And that is in time and thrown out. And Cal Raleigh throws out his man on second base for the first time this season. Good pitch out strategy. But yes, Scott Service is not good with his man. I, I think I, I'm, I'm just waiting for this. Maybe Mariners Mojo will finally criticize Scott Service. And to think about it, they blocked me for basically having them say, what I said years ago. And here's the pitch. 
Swing and a miss, strike one. Of course, Mariners Mojo got offended. They, they're really easy to trigger. Like at first, I kind of felt bad that I egged them on and stuff, but now I kind of don't. Here's the two-two, and here's the other thing. They didn't even invite me to their fantasy baseball league. They did not invite me. They invited Trident. They invited Couch. They invited Marine Layer Podcast. They invited everyone else but me. And here's a 3-2. And now here is a line drive, and that is going to be a base hit. And that is going to be a double for Boston. And the throw to second, and it is wild. It's just deja vu all over again. Relying pitching to give up zero runs, which is not fair. People need to boycott going to Mariners games. Yeah, boycott Mariners games and just tune into my show instead so the Mariners don't make any revenue. I'll take the revenue. Give me the revenue. So maybe I can raise enough money to buy the Mariners. I know that's delusional, but... And Scott Service does it again with his going to Saucedo. Sauce gave up greater what? I don't know. Like Hall of Fame voting, it's odd that a clean Craig Biggio not getting his first or second year of voting. Um, Mariners just gave up a run. That's all I can tell you in the extra innings because our bullpen's just atrocious because we don't have Brash or Santos. There was a man on second. And there was a base hit. Hence the RBI. And now here's Taylor Saucedo. Well, I'm telling you exactly what's happening right now. This is what my show is for. I'm glad that I'm honored that you're using me rather than the MLB app. And looks like we've got an intentional walk happening. That was Tyler O'Neill, and they didn't want to pitch to him. And people question the service and the bullpen, that, but they gave up one run in 18 innings. What are they supposed to do? And also the offense is terrible. And now here is the pitch. And that is a wild pitch, but it doesn't get through. And Mariners are really just crumbling under pressure. I mean, I guess you really can't. I mean, I would have, like, kept in Austin Voth for one more inning because he had three strikeouts. So, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I know bullpen pitching has been doing what they can, but Scott Service makes that one little mistake, and it causes into these problems. And now here's the 1-0, and that is a strike. Do you think the offense is worse than last year? It actually could be. Horrible isn't enough. This is an absolute poop. No offense at all. And now here's the 1-1, one, one, and that's a strike two. Put Spire back in. Put Spire back in or Austin Voth back in. Throw back to Felix Cy Young career. Went 13-12 and 12 with a 
one ERA or whatever, and close to no run support. Okay, Josh, it doesn't matter. If Mariners keep playing like this, Houston will catch up, and here's the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. That's a fair point, but he still should have at least kept in Austin both. And here's the thing. Scott is not putting the discipline on his players for swinging like complete idiots. He saw Polanco and Julio swinging like absolute idiots too, you know. Scott's still not a good manager either way. And now here's the 2-2 pitch to Yoshida. And here's a ground ball, and that gets through for a base hit. And that's going to score in another run. And Boston now leads it 3-1. to one. And this game is pretty much getting out of reach. And that's the thing that they're not talking about with Scott's service is he is way too soft on his players. He's like all buddy, buddy, best friend. That's not the type of manager I want. Like I, That's why Jared Kelnick didn't work out because for a guy that's... I wouldn't call him an undisciplined guy, but he's used to an environment where he, was, he probably had a really tough daddy growing up. And when he goes to an environment where it's all softy environment, of course it wasn't going to work out. Now here's the pitch, and that is a ball. I have a great idea to get views. Instead of a celebrity throwing out a first pitch, Los Bomberos is soft. Huh. And now here is a fly ball to right field, and that's going to be caught by Hanniger, and that will retire the side, but Boston does pitch two innings. And here's that's the that's the thing. Nobody talks about that. Scott's I here's my thing. I have a boss at work. Two bosses from each job. One boss from each job. We don't talk to each other like we're friends. Maybe one of them, but one of them, they he'll tell me as it is, and he's a tough guy. And I respect that. Like I remember when I was working at Best Buy back in like 2016 to 19. I had this manager who was like a really hard butt. He was a really hard ass. People hated him. They thought he was an asshole. But the store did really good. Like he was someone that wasn't a friend of anything. Now he did like me, so I did get a little bit lucky. But it was because I was good at my job. But then once we bring in this other manager who's like all buddy, buddy, best friend, our numbers fell because he had no discipline on anyone except me because he didn't like me at all. So I don't know. But this whole Scott service thing, like I don't think he should get an extension, but until Jerry DePoto's fired, you're not going to fire Scott, but firing Jerry DePoto would not bode well either because he has done a fantastic job with his farm system, but he just cannot bring in any good players on the veteran side. That, the... The crux is if they rebuild around pitching because it's cheaper. Rangers spent on offense last year, and you see the result. You start pinch running for a runner on second, bunt him over, get him in, go to 11. I don't know. We got Jolie Rodriguez. Last season had a 6.55 ERA, but knowing the Mariners' offense, does it really matter? Yep, Scott Service is Mr. Buddy Buddy. I mean, Pete Carroll was Buddy Buddy with his players and went to the playoffs. Uh, uh, he got lucky with insane talent. I mean, football's a whole different game. And now here is the pitch to Luke Rayleigh. And that is a ball. I mean, you have one little hit going, and maybe that will translate into something. He has a 2-0 pitch going on for him so far. He's ahead of the count. And now here's the pitch. And that is a strike right down the middle. 
more like upper corner, but it was in the middle. Run the dang ball, Pete. Yep, that sounds about right. Rayleigh is one for seven in the series. And now here's the 2-1, and he watches it for a strike. That was another opportunity to get some kind of hit, but you're just watching him. Pete didn't win one more Super Bowl of playoffs as the goal. He is great, but what Billy B, Bill Belichick, he won six Super Bowls, everything not playoffs. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And now here's a broken bat. Is that going to drop in for a base hit? And that will drop in for a base hit. That should score in the run. Will that score in the run? I don't think. No, it does score in the run. And the Mariners will bring it within one. And that is Ty France who has scored. That The camera angles was so confusing that I stuttered. And that is Luke Rayleigh with his first RBI of the season. And now it is three to two. And absolutely would pinch. I would absolutely pinch run Luke Rayleigh for sure. You got to pinch run him. Luke Rayleigh would had a nice bloop single. And now here is Luis Urias. Oh God, we're doomed. And now here is the pitch. And that is up high for a ball. I wonder if they're pinch running by now. But do we really have anyone to pinch run? Because we've already used up Dylan Moore. Urias has yet to get a hit. And now here's a ground ball foul. You have a butterfly effect. If Drew Brees doesn't get injured as a charger, Chargers have a dynasty, Patriots dynasty, and the Saban dynasty never happens. Yeah, I could see that. Luis Urias with 23 home runs, 75 RBIs from, from 2021. Now here's the pitch. And now here's the line drive pot. It looked really promising. It was a really good swing, but it just happened to get into the glove. And now we got one down. Mariners are a double play away from losing this game. It was a diving effort that easily could have done some damage. I think even Luke Rayleigh with his legs, he could have easily gone to third base. Ten minutes until it gets to. 250 or three hours. And here's the pitch. And that is a ball so far. And now here's the one Oh pitch. And now here is the 2-0 pitch. Check swing, and he did go. So much undisciplined swinging for the Mariners. Really does bother me that if you just cut these check swings, Mariners might actually be winning this game. It was a horrible swing. Now here's the 2-1 pitch, and that is fouled, and now you're down to your final strike for your hit, for your at that. Josh Rojas hasn't really done much today. Well, he's been one for three, so I guess you're okay, but they haven't been that much impactful. We need Josh Rojas to be the hero for some for something. And now here's the 2-2. Two -two. And now here's a line drive, and that will get through for a base hit. And that's good. Oh, and he bobbled the ball, and that is going to be Luke Rayleigh going to third base. The throw to second, and it is not in time. And now you cannot hit into a double play, and Josh Rojas just moved Luke Rayleigh to third base. Third base, thanks to the error. Man, that just gave me a complete heart attack. My heart really can't take this.
And now here's J.P. Crawford. He has an absolute opportunity to win this game. And here's the pitch, and that is a strike. If he just gets anything in the gap, he will win this game for the Mariners. Crawford, please just do something. Make yourself useful on this. And now here's the 0-1 pitch. And a check swing again. What's with all these check swings? I've lost. Let's have a drinking game. Each time there's a check swing, you take one shot. And if you do, you're dead. And J.P. Crawford, he's got an opportunity to be the hero. And now here's the pitch. And now here's the ground ball. And here's the throw to the plate. And, and the, the Mariners have tied the game. Oh, my goodness. Just right at the skin of their teeth, Luke Rayleigh slides it in with that hustle, and he is safe. And that is an infield base hit for the Mariners, and the game is tied. Oh, my back is going to hurt because of this. I cannot even breathe right now. It was a throw to the plate, and yep, he's safe. That checks. He is safe. Should Crawford steal second? No freaking question, but he's not known to steal bases. Ow, my back hurts for this. This game's hurting my back, literally. And the game is tied. Please, Mariners, win this game. Please win this game. And we are going into the break, and please let me take a break. I need some breathers. I'm going to play my SeatGeek commercial right now. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal. And you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code Rooftop Sports to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description. So take advantage, and thank you. All right, let's uh, let's hope we can make this happen. Game's been three hours. I mean, that's pretty short for... I mean, no, the game hasn't been three hours, so it's going to be about two hours and about 39 minutes, I would say. Oh, yes, please put Julio on. No, please put Julio on. They're not going to put him on because they know they can strike this mofo out. And now here's Julio Rodriguez up to bat. And now here's the pitch. And check swing. You don't have to check swing. It's a strike. Of course he did. And looks like there's a conversation between the umpire and the pitcher. Got 22 views on YouTube. Man, you guys really love me here. Julio better be due. And now here's the 0-1. And that is outside for a ball. He actually does not swing at that. You know, I got something for you. Who, nah, I don't have enough time to play. I was going to play a slow clap, you know, but don't got the time right now. And it's a one and one count so far for Julio. And now here's the pitch. And that is low for a ball. Was hoping that went right through because I can't trust Julio. He just doesn't have the clutch factor, unfortunately. It is 0 for 4 for Julio Rodriguez. 2-1 count for Julio. And now here's the pitch. And that is low for ball 3. 3-1 three and one the count. And I hope you guys can breathe right now because I absolutely cannot breathe whatsoever. We're looking at a 3-1 count so far. This is the opportunity for Julio. And now here's the 3-1. 
And now here's a line drive, and that will drop in for a base hit. The Mariners are going to win. They are going to win, and the ball game is over. Julio Rodriguez with a walk-off hit. Unbelievable. The Mariners had a 3-1 deficit in the extra innings, and the ball game is over. I swear that is the first time I've seen Julio hit a walk-off hit. I just never seen it happen. And this game is over. Mariners are leading the series 2-1. to one, And hopefully they can finish it with a 3-1 series victory. That was insane why they would pitch to him. Guy on second does nothing. We'll take it. I mean, Julio, he struggles. He swings at everything, so they went for it. Julio MVP, too early to say, obviously. But as of now, we'll take this win. And now, I am now giving you guys the opportunity to call in and tell me how you feel. Yes, call in the game and see how you feel. I'd like to see some fans get some involvement in here. There it is. Call into my show. I'll give you guys a few minutes. Otherwise, I gotta, I gotta dip and I gotta go through all my notes and talk about this game. Because what a game it was. Like, oh my God, what a game. <laughs> Julio Hall of Fame, that's just too early. But all I can say is I'm really glad that you guys were part of this show. And what a game it was. So yeah, call into the show when you get the opportunity. If not, it is what it is. But maybe later in the season, we'll get more people involved. And Julio got a huge dumping of Gatorade on him. And let's take a look and see what Julio and Jen Mueller are saying. Luke Rayleigh was absolutely clutch on that as well. I don't think Julio's ever done a walk-off before. Mariners coming up with three runs in the 10th inning was unbelievable. So, yeah, what a game it was. Luke Rayleigh finally stepped up, and I must say, what a game it was. <laughs> it looks like nobody wants to call into my show, but I guess we're not there yet. Maybe if Trident is there, maybe that'll give more of a draw, but it is what it is. But, man, I, I got to get rolling soon, but th this was an amazing game. Amazing way it ended. But I'm going to call the show, but thank you very much for being part of my show. Donate to the show. Use my promo code, Rooftop Sports, to get $20 off for your next game. If you want to see the Mariners hopefully win the series tomorrow, definitely an opportunity to spend time with family if you are going to celebrate Easter. But I'm glad that I was part of this. But I got a roll. I got some videos to cut. And happy Easter. And if you also believe, for those that are Christians and Catholics, he has risen. I know that YouTube is probably going to cut me off for that, but screw you. I don't care. But hey, if the Jewish celebrates something, good for them. If the Muslim celebrates something, good for them. If the atheist celebrates something, good for them. If the, the group that has a holiday tomorrow as well since 2009 if they want to celebrate that good for them so i'm giving i'm i'm diversifying everything just so i don't piss off youtube basically but anyways that's going to do it for the show thank you very much for being it and see us rise and try it. oh my god julio are you okay are you okay okay i, I know you fell down but you got to be okay he's okay all right, that's going to be it, and everyone have a good night.